Welcome to MSP Voice, the weekly show for MSPs by MSPs. Brought to you by CloudBerry, the number one cross-platform cloud backup. Learn more at cloudberrylab.com. This is MSP Voice. Hello and welcome to MSP Voice. This is episode number seven. Seven. Um, today I am joined by Jeff Huber of uh, Five Nines Tech out in California. So Jeff, welcome to MSP Voice. Thank you, great to be here. Um, so why don't you just kind of give us a little bit about uh, Five Nines Tech, uh, you know, what you do, your little bit of video, a little bit of your background and those types of things. <laughs> Sounds good. Um, I have been in the IT industry for 30 plus years now. I had a first computer job when I was 19, uh, doing some application programming um, that has migrated to me owning a business now. It wasn't a, uh, wasn't a path that I had envisioned. I, I've never had the entrepreneurial spirit, as mm -hmm. it were. Um, I kind of fell into this uh, about a year and a half ago when a, the owner of the previous company I worked for um, retired. Um, and I decided to take over the, the business. I, the, the clients basically that I was managing, he was in another state. Uh, okay. I was really running the business for him. And uh, so the clients all came over to my new company and I just kind of uh, ran with it uh, from there. Well, that that's good. You know, sometimes opportunity presents itself in the strangest form. So. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, so you mentioned, you know, you've been in technology for a while. Did you have, you know, a traditional IT career, you know, to, to start with? Yeah, I, as I said, I started off an application programmer with uh, Microsoft Quick Basic. Um, okay. And yeah, so quite a while ago, you know, went to Visual Basic. So I did a lot of front end stuff to begin with and mm -hmm. sort of kind of melded, um, you know, networking eventually to database administration, SQL Server, uh, DBA. Um, but yeah, I was traditionally in the um, uh, mortgage industry is kind of really where I started. Okay. And then, uh, then, then just kind of moved off into, you know, I became a nurse. Actually, I'm a registered nurse. And so I, I did oh. a little caveat there for a <laughs> few years and uh, then came back into IT okay. uh, using my nursing background and IT background and then uh, yeah, transitioned to company owner. Got Wow. So you've had a, a varied career in, in a couple of different yeah. fields so that that's always good um so you know you had the kind of the technical background have you had any issues in, on the business side of things you know you got sales and marketing and um is it just you or do you have do you have staff yeah we're a very small shop it's just me <laughs> I, okay. I actually started the business with um, when the other company when the other um owner retired we had a at one point we had a 15 um uh, staff help desk in the Philippines mm -hmm. and so we kind of transitioned away from that long story on that piece but um, when I took over the company it was just the two of us then it was me um, okay. starting at the beginning of last year and about six months into it I hired my brother-in-law so we ah. became a, a two-person shop and we have contractors um, yeah uh, maybe not so obviously but but we had contractors that we work with if we need okay. but uh, employees were just uh, the two of us and then last month he actually had a great opportunity, and we actually lost some. Uh, we lost a couple big clients, okay. so it kind of it worked out well. He had a great opportunity, and um, you know I needed to kind of scale back a little bit and regroup. Gotcha. Um, and so it's now back to a one man shop. But yeah, you, you mentioned the business aspect is a challenge. You know, I've never had that sales or marketing. That's all mm -hmm. really new for me. So that's been the biggest um, biggest challenge for me. Is is that piece of it. Yeah. Now, do you, um, are, are most of your customers under contract or do you, you know, do you still do break fix, those types of things or is it we all managed? Pretty much, yeah, we're pretty much a break fix. We're migrating over to a kind of full fixed fee service, you know, mm -hmm. traditional uh, managed services. So we have two of our, so we only have 19 clients. Well, only, that's good. <laughs> yeah, than that's good. Them, I guess, right? <laughs> we have 19 clients. Um, and so two of them now, I, I really started to focus when we lost at the beginning of this year, our number one client at the end of last year, we lost our second largest client. Mm. Um, that was a big kick in the butt to, to you know, get the yeah. sales kind of piece moving. So, um, you know, in, in hindsight now, it's really a, a blessing because for a year and a half before that, I was, I was, uh, I guess, sales interested, but not sales focused. And I, I take that term from an, uh, a, uh, 
another company that that helps kind of MSP training for us. And okay. you know, it's really, especially in my position, everybody wants to have sales, right? They're sales interested, mm -hmm. but we're not focused on it, right? And so yeah. now it's that getting that discipline to really focus on doing the the, the sales component. Okay, okay. great. And then, so do you like specialize in any kind of verticals, you know, or is it just anyone? <laughs> we do, so pretty much all but one of our clients is in the labor union, labor union and their apprenticeship. So it's a really interesting okay. vertical that the previous owner got into. Um, mm -hmm. The company had transitions before, it was CPAs, lawyers, dentists, it had gone through kind of transitions, but ended up being, um, yeah, just uh, uh, labor unions, so, okay. which is a unique kind of, animal unto itself not like mm -hmm. a traditional kind of business where there's an owner that's concerned about things that they aren't as concerned about maybe right <laughs> yeah. um, so that's other challenge so really now my focus is trying to work on uh, getting business from kind of more traditional sorts of retails or you know business owners that you know that are technology focused yeah. and utilize our services okay what about uh, what about marketing you do any of that None right now. I've actually, the biggest part of marketing I had, because prior to the company, it was all um, all referrals. There was no sales engine to speak of at all, no marketing. So now my biggest uh, piece of marketing is we did a website. <laughs> so we had we hired someone to do a website, which it again, looks nice. I, 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 yeah, know. yeah. I mean, really, you need to have you have a business card. You need someone to look to seem like you're legit, right? Yeah. Like I know I'm legit, but they there's that perception, <laughs> right? Of hey, we can we can manage you as a as a client, mm -hmm. and so yeah, the, 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 that is our biggest piece. So, you know, being a one man shop, I need to take you know a bite of the elephant at a time. So the marketing sure. piece um, is kind of on the back burner now while I develop the the sales engine and continue to service our clients and you know. Okay. Um, so what about what any kind of software are you, you know, what kind of, you know, are you using remote management, PSA, backup, all that kind of stuff? Yeah, we, we really, the, the foundation of, of me as a kind of a single person starting out is I really wanted to use the best of breed mm -hmm. uh, for the, the tools, right? The, the, the tools that have come such a long way. You can, you know, someone can start up and be an MSP out of the box, right? There's so yeah. many services that, that people offer you. So mm -hmm. I wanted to make sure that I didn't skimp on the tools that, you know, I, I did lots of research on the the particular vendors in their market and, and said, okay, these are the people I want to work with and can grow with the company, not just handle, yeah. you know, smaller, but, you know, I plan on growing the, the business and I'll make sure that they're mm -hmm. going to scale scale with us. So, okay. um, yeah, we, we, we use quite a few tool vendors because again being small shop we don't have the in-house you know to write our own rmm or yep. ticketing system or anything like that and you're not going to write it microsoft basic are you <laughs> no no <laughs> a little outdated yeah <laughs> uh, do, you, do you do you reevaluate you know in terms of the tools and, and the software you use how often do you go kind of do you ever go back take a look and say hey this isn't working for us or maybe there's something better no that, that's a good question i i haven't yet you know being only about a year and a half uh, year old company, I haven't mm -hmm. had that. Um, you know, for example, we use Autotask, and when I, we were looking at ConnectWise and Autotask to begin with, and I've, you know, there's been challenges with Autotask, and in the back of your mind, you think, well, maybe I should kind of switch over, but you know, the, the effort that it takes to do that, yeah. right, it's, it's not warranted right now. So, yeah. you know, I, I, I had a plan, I'm executing the plan, and you know, maybe in another year or so, I could okay. readdress that, but at this point, <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. I'm not in a place to to be able to 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 do that or want to do that. Got it. So you know, obviously, you know, you you're just sort of getting started. You know, it's been about a year and a half now for you. Do you have any advice for someone looking to get started in in going on their own doing managed services? Um, I, I think the biggest thing I would suggest is really having discipline. You really need mm -hmm. to have discipline, especially being a small shop. Um, in you know, not only the sales kind of component, but each component, um, uh, having that discipline to say, hey, this, these are the type of things, you know, schedule, I, I schedule meetings, um, you know, for myself, right? We have different <laughs> roles, quote unquote, in our, in our company, right? I have a centralized services role. I have a, a technology administrator role, mm -hmm. um, support desk role, you know, VCIO. So I have days that are allocated to that. I have quarterly actions, okay. you know, uh, a plan that kind of drives out. And so I mm -hmm. schedule my, 
my activities are. Right? I have daily and weekly and monthly meetings that I schedule right now just for myself, just so I have that discipline. That's really, really um, helped um, keep me focused and keeps me, you know, it's kept me moving. Yeah. Um, yeah, as far as uh, kind of from the business, because again, not having that kind of business acumen, I, I, I rely and, and I feel myself going more towards technical, like getting more certification, <laughs> Microsoft yep. or whatever, right? It's easy to delve over into that piece. <laughs> it's much easier to avoid, oh man, I've got to, I've got to figure out where I'm going to get my cold calling list and what you know CRM I'm going to put it in and you know yeah. doing actually cold calling and, and you know, developing the inside and outside sales role you know that type of stuff is easier to put off but having mm -hmm. that discipline to say nope this is what I'm you know Jeff do your effing job right you know and <laughs> do this now right like just just yeah. do it um, so that that's helped me okay what what um, so what do you think is the best part of what besides owning your own business, but just you know the managed services and the IT services space in general, what's what's your favorite part about it? Um, you know, I, I I remember hearing a quote years and years ago. I think from Zig Ziglar. I think it was a salesman that said basically that you could get anything you want in this life as long as you helped other people get what they wanted, mm -hmm. and nothing kind of crystallizes that more than. MSPs, right? Like we are helping, and I've always been in customer service, so that's kind of been easy, right? Yeah. But we are there to help customers, and I just always, uh, in fact, I have that quote on my my desktop that says, "Hey, I just need to help other people, right?" Which is easy; it comes natural mm -hmm. for me. I like helping other people, right? I think yeah. I think people in managed services in general, right, and in, in IT services in general, enjoy helping other people. So, mm -hmm. you know, just focused on that, helping other people, that that. I love that aspect, right? That, uh -huh. hey, I, as, a, as an end result, I can get what I want, right? I, I yeah. Make a living out of this, but, you know, I get to affect other people's lives in a positive way. So that, I love doing that. That's great. So what's the worst part? <laughs> um, uh, well, you know, business is much tougher than, you know, you always hear, oh, it's harder in the business and you do a lot of work and mm -hmm. stuff. You really don't know it until you get into the business, right? Even yeah. being the, even having kind of run the business, um, for the previous company, there was a lot of stuff that I didn't run, right? And a lot of stuff that I didn't have that I, that I had direction from the owner. And so now everything is by decision, right? And so yep. it's good and bad. It's a challenge, just like programming. I love a challenge, right? And so this is just kind of learning new things. And I love learning and, and, and I love that challenge aspect. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just like going in when I went into nursing, it's, you know, being an expert in the field, it's it's uh, much more difficult going and being an office, right? Starting off being, yep. hey, you're a brand new business owner and you don't know what you're doing, right? And so, you know, <laughs> get get training for you know that or help. There's 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 programs and other companies out there that help MSP, um, mm -hmm. you know, folk do their business. So that that is what yeah. I would suggest. And yeah, you know, I, and I I told some other people too, you know. Local community college, you know, they have, you know, mm -hmm. take a couple of business courses, you know, it doesn't doesn't hurt to go in and, and brush up and and you know, and that's kind of another way to focus, right? Is hey, I'm going to pay to go take this training, so I know I'm going to do it and not exactly. keep putting it off because exactly. there's a school over here I'd rather play with. <laughs> yeah, yeah, perfect. Um, do you do you consider yourself part of an MSP community? You know, of you know, do you do you talk to other um, MSPs, you know, IT services business owners? networking, those types of things? You know, I do, I do through, um, again, talking about that kind of MSP training company, I, I belong to True Methods, which is a, a company that, mm -hmm. that fosters that. It's pretty well known. Gary Pika um, has developed a, a great program. And so that is the sense of community I feel I belong to, right? Like okay. I don't have any outside kind of, um, um, you know, I guess websites or memberships or anything that I belong to. Maybe I should, and I need to look into that. But right now, I get a lot of what I need. I mean, really, I wouldn't be in the position that I that I'm in now if I didn't have that community okay. right? and that that training and support. Yeah. Um, that's really helped the business kind of aspect and, and crystallize what you know I need to do. That whole the whole discipline of what I need to do and being sales interested and sales focused. Mm -hmm. That's all you know stuff that I that I've gotten from them. Um, so yeah. Yeah, I, I, okay. high praises for that and, and getting help, right? You can't do it all, right? Especially being a smaller shop, yeah. you need to lean on other people, right? There's, you can do training, right? You can, like you said, you can go to community uh, classes, but there's only so mm -hmm. much you can do. And so that kind of fast tracking yeah. is getting in with a, 
a team and being able to quickly ask questions instead of waiting for the next week's class or whatever, you know? Yeah, definitely. Um, so technology, right? We're, we're technologists at heart. Um, looking at kind of the technology that's out there today, what are some of the things you're most excited about? Whether it be, you know, IT services related or, you know, something else, you know, consumer like what electronics, what, um, What's your right exciting now, technology? You know, for the business, because right now that's kind of my focus. Right? <laughs> it's really been cybersecurity. There's a big field that opens up for us. Probably the last year, um, I've been steering and focusing more on on that aspect, just because it's hitting small businesses as a as, as a greater yeah. rate, right? People think, you know, I think the general consensus among the public is, you know, only big companies be high, that are hacked, right? And that's no. not the case, right? I think. 60% or more of small businesses are, are, are hacked. I think that was a statistic from last year. Mm -hmm. So, you know, since I deal with mainly small businesses, right, small and medium businesses, that is something I need to focus on to bring more value to, to our clients right in our service yeah. offering. So there's a lot there. And again, being able to kind of leverage the expertise and tools and whatnot from another company mm -hmm. um, really helps us as a small business to say, hey, I can get educated so much, but I, I can't wear that many hats and get as, as educated and, and knowledgeable um, in everything as I'd like, right? I'd love to become a you know, security expert, right? Yeah. And, and I just don't have that ability. So, <laughs> you know, being able to leverage that, that's really helped kind of our, the focus of our business because it impacts our clients, right? And, yeah. and I want to make sure that that uh, they aren't impacted that way, or at least we're doing our diligence to prevent, you know, that type of damage. Yeah. So, you know, you're excited about security and the aspects, and the, what what are you more, most worried about from a technology perspective? <laughs> um, that's a good question. Um, I don't know. I probably, if I was a better business owner, I probably would be worried about a lot of things. <laughs> but I I can't think of anything right now that strikes me that I'm concerned with right now. My okay. uh, just trying to, you know, focus on my my kind of plan of, you know, my my ten year, three year, one year, you know, quarterly plan to say, hey, I'm going to make these baby steps and moving forward. So right now, there's nothing on my radar that um, that worries me. I think I think last year uh, the cybersecurity thing um, yeah. concerned me, and I addressed that right. And so now we're much more focused on that. So nothing as of yet has has you know, cause, cause to concern me that, um, okay. you know, dedicate resources or whatever to it. <laughs> <laughs> great. So, um, we are now to our rapid fire round. Um, okay, great. It's painless. Um, just, uh, <laughs> just a quick answer. Um, and then we'll wrap it up at the end after that. So first off, Apple or Android? Android. Okay. Mac, Linux or Windows? Windows. Okay. Amazon or Azure or something else? Uh, Amazon. Okay. Uh, local backups or cloud or both? Both. Both, okay. And finally, which is worse, printer support or vendor cold calls? Printer support. I, I, vendor cold calls I'm fine with. They give me more okay. you know, more insights potentially. Yeah, I, I, I'll take it any day. <laughs> I know sometimes it's a double-edged sword, right? It's like all of a sudden you get all these vendors calling you or emailing you and all that kind of stuff. and. Um, can, can eat I, into your day sometimes. So. Yeah, I can easily say sorry. I can't talk. That, that, that's easy. I can't do yeah. that with a client. No, sorry, I, I can't do your <laughs> printer issue right now. It's your own printer. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Well, great, um, Jeff. It's been great having you on. Any um, advice? Any more wisdom before we sign off here? No, I, I just say, you know. Be flexible. Um, seek the help of others. You know, don't try and do it all on your own. If, you know, know your limitations and uh, and and get help. And you know, you help enough people, you can get what you want. I, I'm a firm believer in that. Yeah, I, I really like that. Uh, what, what you said about that. So, great. Um, it's been great having you on. And um, for everyone else listening, uh, have a great day. Thank you very much. Thanks, Doug.